The rate of a chemical reaction can be found either by measuring the quantity of a reaction used up in a certain time, or by measuring the amount of product formed in a certain time. The equation to work out the rate is either the quantity of reactant used divided by the time taken, or the quantity of the product formed, again divided by the time taken. If a question came up like this, asking you how to work out the rate of reaction after six seconds of this reaction, then you need to know how to work out the rate of a curved graph. To do so, draw a tangent line at the required point, in this case, six. A tangent line should only touch the curve at the point given. You can then use the straight line formed by the tangent to work out the change in y and the change in the x-axis. Dividing the change in y by the change in x will give you the rate of reaction at the desired point. The unit for the rate of reactions are easy to work out if you consider the values that you used. If you use the mass, normally measured in grams, and divide it by time, usually in seconds, then the unit will be grams per second. If you use the volume for the quantity, then centimetres cubed is the standard measurement. Again, divided by time in seconds will give the unit centimetres cubed per second.